It certainly isn't 3.1 meters, everybody, but it is an elephant with tusks, as you can see. Very beautiful cow, and she's come closer and closer. This is not the same one we were looking at when we last saw you. He's moved off into the bush slightly. And she's now kind of getting closer and closer and sampling this very large tree that has managed to escape the attentions of the elephants until this point. Oh dear. Right, well that's that then. That was not very nice of her, I feel. Isn't that amazing? The strength involved in what she just did there is astonishing. Hello, Moy Nadine in India. We've had a really nice array of people talking to us today. Moy Nadine, you say, how long can an elephant survive without water and food? With water, probably about mm, a maximum of maybe two weeks, but I, that would be a long time, I'd say. It would be a very long time. Food, I think you'll find probably maybe three weeks before they'd starve to death. But it's not a long time. Now this tree, that tree there, you can see is not, um, it's, it hasn't ever, it hasn't completely escaped elephant attention in its history. That's why it's multi-stemmed like that. It doesn't just have one trunk, it has many. But it's been a while since it was mangled. Uh, that is probably about to change. That's quite nice to see, isn't it? Mum and youngster. Now I hope she doesn't break another bit off. I think they actually prefer the roots if they can get at them. Alright, quickly let's go across to Brent. He's got something smaller and equally grey to 